Hello everyone, welcome back to Obsessive Prepper AZ. Today I've got a wonderful, delicious recipe for you, a dessert for your holidays. Thanksgiving is next week. I know some of you don't know how to make pies or don't know how to make pie crust and have a quandary of what to make to take to a Thanksgiving party. And you look like you spent a lot of time, but it was simply effortless very easy to do. So come along with me and I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful dessert for your holidays. So when you're thinking about Thanksgiving, one of the things that comes to mind is pumpkin pie. And a lot, like I had mentioned, do not know how to make a pie crust. So all we're going to do is use one can of pumpkin pie filling. It's just the pumpkin. It doesn't have any of the mixture and there is differences. You just want a can of pumpkin. Get that in there. All right, get rid of that. Okay, with our pumpkin pie filling, we're going to add one can of evaporated milk. Now, for all of you that bake and make pumpkin pies, the, re the recipe is a pumpkin pie recipe, other than I've got a little twerk that I do with mine. Now, on the evaporated milk, what I do is I just add it in slowly because I don't want to have to add the whole can in and then try to get a blob of milk and the pumpkin. So we're just going to slowly mix this in until it's all combined. Now all we're going to add is one cup of sugar to our mix here. I generally have like a third cup in my sugar mixture here, so I'm going to add three of them. One, two, and three. So a third cup times three is a cup. Mix that in. We've got our pumpkin pie seasoning. I am going to add in, I like pumpkin pie seasoning, so I'm going to add in, these are half teaspoons, so a full teaspoon and another half, teaspoon and a half of pumpkin pie seasoning. Some of my homemade vanilla. Now I don't measure this, I just kind of pour it in. I'm going to say overall probably about a tablespoon. And the last ingredient that I add is rum extract. I'm going to, I don't ever really measure this either. I'm going to say it's probably about a half a teaspoon. I'm going to finish mixing this. And then the last ingredient is our eggs. So slowly mix those in. If you, again, if you drop them all in at one time, you're trying to get them completely combined and it doesn't work as easy. So we're just going to slowly do this with our whisk. So when you do add your eggs, you want to make sure that your eggs are completely combined because if they're not, you're going to get egg whites in your mix here. So just spend a little extra time doing this. All right, get this out of the way. Get my sugar out of the way. How simple was that? We're almost done here. All right, so we have a nine by 13 pan here. I love Baker's Joy, makes baking effortless. So we're just going to spray this in. We're going to coat the sides. This already has the grease and the flour nonstick. And we're going to add our pumpkin pie filling to this. I'm a waste not want not kind of person, so I will sit here and scrape till almost everything's in. Just me. All right, I'm going to get this out of the way. Pretty easy so far, right? Now, my secret ingredient. What is it? Cake mix. 
going to use a spice cake mix. Now this turns out wonderful. So I've got this and we're just going to sprinkle this all over the top of our pumpkin pie filling. You just want to evenly disperse this. All right, get this out of the way. And then what we're going to do is add a cup of chopped pecans all over the top. Depending on how many pecans you like. Some people don't like nuts. Um, I don't get it. I love my pecans. So just going to add these in. If you don't like nuts, don't put them in. All right. Now this is where it gets really yummy and it gets fattening. Two cubes, one cup of butter. Now I use salted butter. I like salted butter. If you don't want the salt, don't add it. Just get the unsalted butter. And all we're going to do is put pats of butter all over the top of this. The butter really does make the difference in this recipe. All right, one stick done. You know, it's the holiday season, like I said, and sometimes we're so stressed over what to do for parties and stuff and uh, finances sometimes can't be uh, right there for us to make a bunch of things so this I made this for my husband's um, party at his work and I double batched it put it in a, uh, a uh, regular cookie sheet he took it to work and everybody was like oh my gosh and it was super cheap you know, right now, this season, right at Thanksgiving time, is when you want to buy all your bacon ingredients. They go on sale really cheap. Uh, cake mixes are, give or take, 75 cents on sale. And so it's really, you know, easy to make something affordable for a party. All right, almost done here. All right. We've got our pats of butter all over the top. I've got my oven at 350. We're gonna put it in. Now, normally the recipe says 55 to 60 minutes. I normally cook it about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. You wanna go in, you don't want it to be solid as a rock, but you wanna go in, kind of shake it and make sure it's not super jiggly everywhere. Even though it is a little jiggly in the center, it's still gonna set as it cools on your stove it's going to uh, still keep cooking so you don't want it completely hard but i'm going to set my timer for an hour and 10 minutes i'll get back to you as soon as it's out okay i'm about a minute and a half shy of my hour and 10 minutes and you can see where it is brown and it's starting to pull away right here. And if I put my hot pad on here and see if I can show you, I jiggle it and it's jiggling, but it's not too much. So I'm going to say I'm pretty much, see how it's jiggling there? So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out because it's still going to cook on its own. Well, he's patiently waiting. Just got home from work. We ate dinner and twiddling his thumbs and we we're watching TV. He's like, is it time to eat it yet? No, I actually said, let's go make your video so I can have my dessert. <laughs> Especially this dessert is amazing. So it hasn't set all the way. Um, give you a look. It's been about two and a half hours of since I baked it, since I pulled it out of the oven, made some homemade whipped cream for it. Don't need a lot because that's rich. And uh, yeah, super easy to make. The guys at work really liked it, didn't they? They devoured it. Like, uh, it was just amazing. We've had it like three times now since I started making it, so. <laughs> and the butter really does on oh, the top. I can't even describe how good it is. It's 
It's 10 times better than pumpkin pie ever thought of being. And it's just, I don't even know how to compare it to anything else. It's amazing. And if you make your own homemade whipped cream, just heavy whipping cream, some powdered sugar, a little bit of cream of tartar, and some of vanilla. You can add flavorings to it like a rum if you wanted to, but just vanilla for what I like. <laughs> There's nothing healthy about it, but it's amazing. Right. Well, we're going to leave it there. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. And if you want to be notified for future videos, ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Have a good night.